So you've seen the title now. But before we get into it, let's talk about the backstory. I'm from a middle class family, just like most aspirants along with me. I was told that I was already pretty late in preparing for my JEE exams. Sir, want to take admissions? Age care? Thirteen years, sir. Eighth grade. Eighth standard. Five years remaining for the exam. Too late. Next, next. Okay, okay. Let me not be so harsh on one of the world's toughest exams, which almost one million students give and only a few thousand are able to crack. But jokes aside, it all started with a dream. Many people have a misconception about IITs, and even I did. Well, what do I do? I was used to seeing IITs crack the best placements, and that too in crores. For a person like me, it was a really big deal. So just like many others, I joined a coaching class called IIT in Space in my eighth grade. Yes, five years before the exam. But trust me, Pace was one of the best institutions that I've ever gone into. I learned so many new things. I made a lot of friends, many of whom I'm still in contact with, and the teachers there were incredible as well. But I feel it was all because of one thing. I didn't care about the grades I was getting in the exams, or as they called it, major tests and pace. And that's why I wasn't studying to get better grades. I was studying because I really wanted to learn something new. I just wanted to score ninety percent plus because that would allow me to get admission in the integrated college of Pace itself. And I did. I got around ninety-two to ninety-three percent, and I was quite happy with it. All ICSE students watching this video, I was in state board. This is quite a good percentage for us, okay? So my eleventh and twelfth standard were basically spent just to study for the JEE exams. After studying for five long years for this exam. the day finally came the exam center was nowhere close to what i had imagined there were students everywhere people were studying for the exam as if their whole life was depending on it even in the last moments i could see a lot of students just holding on to their books trying to learn everything that they can but the exam went pretty good for me i think chemistry was something that took me by surprise but apart from that i was pretty fine now back then we had two attempts in the same year i wasn't planning on giving the second attempt but i gave it just for the backup now after giving my je mains exams i started to study for je advanced Of course this was based on the assumption that I would pass JE mains in the first place. So did I? The results finally came out. I was quite nervous to check them but I'm glad that I didn't have the kind of pressure that other students have to go through. Of course if I were to fail I would be sad but I knew this wasn't going to determine if I was living a good life or not. This was because I used to research a lot. I in fact used to and still love researching topics on the internet. Back then the topic was IITs packages. Through my research I realized that the placements of IITs is quite exaggerated. I in fact had the list of all the students along with their CTC and package of IIT Bombay back then. No offense but the CTC was not that great. I think the average was around 10 to 12 lakhs per annum. Even the highest packages which go in crores and are advertised to us usually are foreign packages and I had no plans of leaving India. Okay but let me give credit where it's due. IITs host some of the smartest people in the country and there's no doubt in that. In fact, I really wanted to build those connections because I knew its worth is way more than these packages. Okay, I got sidetracked but what about my results? Cool. So I got around 30,000 rank in my JE mains exams. I was a bit disappointed because I knew I could have done better but that's okay. So now I started to prepare for JE advanced. Long story short, during my JE advanced exams, I got sick. I gave my exams but it didn't go well. Yeah, okay, I failed. But because of my JE mains, I was able to get admissions in some of the NITs. The best one I think was NIT Srinagar. I got electronics branch over there and was quite happy with it. But there were some problems. Describing those problems would take another video in itself. But if you want to know why I left an NIT, then comment it down below and I'll make one. So now I'm back home in Mumbai. Looking at my backup options and saw that through the CET exam, I had gotten admission. in KJ Somaya I had a few other options as well I think I had DJ Sangvi Thadomal College and a bunch of other good colleges in Mumbai that I could get into but I chose to stick with KJ All these colleges have almost similar packages but the main difference for me was the campus. KJ Somaya has a huge campus and if you want me to make a video showing the entire campus then do let me know in the 
yes comment section below and i'll make a video for that as well okay now after getting into kj somaya the best thing was i could work on myself i knew i didn't want to go through the on campus placements so because of that reason i had to develop new skills so in my first year itself i kept it as a goal to never say no to anything I meant when it came to participating in different activities. I explored a lot. In fact, did things that I thought I could never do, like writing a rap song and performing it in front of an audience, dancing, doing stand-up comedy, playing guitar, football. Okay, for the football part, I already was good at it. But apart from this, I started to develop myself by learning new skills. Coding was something that always interested me, so I started with it. I already knew the basic things about C++ and Java, so I started with Python. Apart from this, I also started learning about web development. Because I was learning Python, I then jumped onto Django, which is a Python framework that lets you develop these web applications. Back then, I was working on a project called Guest in Me. It was for the The nightlife industry in Mumbai, and that's another story in itself. But I developed the web app for it first using Django, and then started learning about Flutter to develop its mobile app as well. Now, because of all these skills, I landed some internships and also got some contracts to work on and build mobile apps for clients. It was working out quite well for me. In my second year itself, I was earning close to the average package of my college. During this time, I also used to participate in a lot of hackathons. If you want. to know more about what hackathons are you can check this video out for it but basically they are 24 to 48 hour long events wherein you build a solution in the form of an app or a device through one of these hackathons i got introduced to blockchain so i started learning about it it was quite an interesting field and i soon got hooked into it i think it was polygon and portis that was sponsoring that hackathon in which i got introduced to blockchain but after that i also was growing here on youtube due to which a lot of brands were approaching for sponsorships and stuff like that back then i wouldn't do sponsored videos at all because i wouldn't have used those things myself and i felt that the most important thing that helps me grow over here is because all of you guys trust me if i start promoting some company which i don't believe in myself then it wouldn't make any sense and people won't trust me anymore but now that i've grown to this position i can choose the brands that i want to work with for example i had made a video on how i made my website using motion and super of course you can see that my own website is made using those platforms so promoting them makes sense but if i was promoting something that i would never have even recommended to my close friends or family members then i would not take it up but let's get back to the topic So I'm currently at a comfortable position wherein I can say that I don't have to sit for placements and I don't think I would have been so motivated to do these things if I was in an IIT not sure but I'm glad that whatever has happened has happened so the next video would be about why I left an IIT and if you don't want to miss any updates for that then do subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon and also check this particular video out in which I've talked about my blockchain development journey